Hey guys, welcome back. We have a 1v1 ranked on Arena. Uh, in the teal here is myself. I'm from the United States. I'm playing as the Poles. And I'm 11 1200 ELO player. In the purple, we have Linfield18, also from the United States. 11 1200 ELO player, playing as the Teutons. And let's get started. So, in the past, I've played as the Poles a lot. Still, have, still do, actually. Um, but, you know, I've done a lot of different strats. I've done Polish Vilfighting, Tower Rushes, uh, Winged Hussars, Cheap Cavalier, Obush. I mean, you name it. I've pretty much exploited the Civ, I feel like, in most of the ways possible. One of the other things I've done in the past, and I haven't done a lot of it recently, is the Polish All-In Petard uh, fighting. And the reason why I haven't done it in a while is because, well, Petards, I mean... It gets a little old after a while, but it's still fun. And I seen a video that uh, Vlad the Impaler of your mom posted. And I look at this, I actually milled my deer or folk worked my deer like Vlad did uh, because I want this is going to come into play later using the folk works, all right? Um, and so he was doing an all in petard rush and everything as poles. And I was like, you know what? I actually miss doing that. I want to do it again. So. Vlad, this is for you. And I think I also saw Poop Lord do one recently too. Um, and so it just it really sparked the, uh, the the energy in me to do another one. So here we go. And this is going to be a difficult one because, like I said, purple is Teutons. Teutons are a strong defensive sieve. Um, it's hard to push them. And so I'm going to do my best to stay petards only. Now, towards the very end, I had to get a little bit of something. You'll have to see. But 99% uh, of what I make and do is going to be petards. Now, Folkworks. If you're not familiar with them, Folkworks give you 10% of the farm immediately as soon as you build the farm. So you always want to build a Folkwork first and then build the surrounding farms around it to get that 10% boost so you can get up to castle a lot faster. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. I'm researching castle while they're researching feudal. <laughs> so um, they do have two extra villagers, but that's fine. I want to have uh, a quicker time so I can get there fast and get in their base quickly. So there's a stone pile right here outside of the base. That's usually what I try and target. I want to get build a collect stone with my uh, villagers that built the castle. Uh, sending villagers forward now. And they're just going to walk along here. I think I actually went right past the scout. I don't think he notices me. Yep. Dropping a house real quick. And I'm in castle. So here's the first castle. Now let's go to Purple's point of view. Um, yeah, he can't see the castle. And I actually made him run away by attacking his uh, scout. And immediately start attacking a gate so I can run in there again. So he's only 5% of the way up to castle. He can't drop a defensive castle if he wants to. Now the problem is I don't have enough castle for another, enough stone for another castle just yet, uh, and now I do. So coming forward, so this is going to be castle number two. He's sixty-two percent of the way to castle, doesn't have an, uh, enough stone for a castle last time I checked. Yeah, only four hundred and ninety. Uh, so he doesn't have enough stone for the castle, and he doesn't. He's not in castle, so he can't build one. And now he's going to have a second castle, literally being dropped on his TC. Not a good, not a good look, not a good feel. Does have a one villager lead on me. Uh, now we're even. Okay, so 34 to 34. So really, like him staying in feudal a little bit longer and getting those two extra villas didn't really help out that much. And this is a super crowded woodland. So the reason why I dropped it here is because I wanted to deny this gold, all these farms, and deny this woodland. I mean, I love this placement of this castle right here. So now what do you do? Well, you go right back out to the stone and you start stone mining again. So you can do it again. Uh, let's see how much stone I have in the bank. Yeah, not a whole lot. I think I took my stone miners off Yeah, back home. Uh, the reason why is because I really wanted to add some more eco in here. Getting a third folk work now uh, and really trying to just prioritize placing the farms right next to the folk work. So that way I get that 10% of food repeatedly over and over and over and over again. And I actually have a one villager lead now. Uh, so he's getting a couple of knights out and a defensive castle finally. Now, like I said, Teuton castles, they're strong because they can get things like crinolations and stuff. Uh, they have free murder holes. 
So if you try and run in there and batter it down, it's a lot harder to do. Still collecting stone. Thinking about where I want to place my next castle at. And... We have enough stone for a castle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm not paying attention. Obviously. I have 800 stone in the bank now. Oh my goodness. I could have dropped another castle a while ago and really took out this part of its economy. Oh, that's what I was doing. I forgot. Yeah. Petards. <laughs> oh. And this TC goes down. <laughs> oh, look at all these petards, man. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Can he keep it up? That's what she said. And he cannot. The castle goes down. So now he just lost his TC and his castle. But he is doing the right thing. He's expanding into the back corner here, and he's expanding outside of his base as well. So he still has two TCs, even though he lost all of that. Uh, meanwhile, I'm still on just one TC. Adding in, yeah, you guessed it, more folk works. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I, I almost have enough food. I just need more gold. I almost have enough food to go up to Imp at this point. I used a lot of gold. Uh, constantly making petards. And I can't shoot this because I don't have murder holes. <laughs> but all those petards, what a thing of beauty. I mean, just absolutely decimated that town center and that castle. I actually forgot that I did that that early on. Um, sometimes, whenever you play a lot and you cast a lot, you forget what you do in your different games. And then you make videos and you're genuinely surprised by what you do. And then you have YouTube com commenters that are like, Why are you... F doing these fake reactions to the videos that you cast of yourself like you should know this and then I'm like hmm you know what I forget stuff I'm sorry I'm not perfect and I actually genuinely am surprised sometimes <laughs> and then there's things that I miss even when I was playing you know what I mean and uh, so yeah it's a genuine reaction people I'm not trying to make Good stuff up despite what uh, YouTube critics might say so here we go here's the third castle now and it gets denied initially and rams are out oh man the humanity losing villagers left and right all these Teuton knights the Teuton knights get that extra armor as well oh yeah I can't garrison the remaining villagers because of petards <laughs> oh my goodness I actually should just run the petards directly at the castle right now I have uh five nine and then yeah i have enough more than enough to take down that castle if they can get past the knights get the castle up though no don't fight my petards well he is fighting in double castle while wow, this castle isn't shooting at him so petards do really well against rams so using some petards against these rams and unfortunately most of those petards did not make it to their intended target but he did lose all of his knights and uh We'll lose this second ram here in a second if I can kill it before this castle kills me. Nope. <laughs> and it's a Teutonic Knight. Now this is what I should have done. I should have just made uh, a uh, siege workshop that could start shooting the uh, rams from behind. The only issue is just trying to keep uh, the knights from sniping them. And here come the next wave of petards. But the, the Teuton castles are so hard to take out, man. So hard. Oh, my goodness. Like, none of those ones even made it on that second iteration. It's so hard to push Teuton castles. It really is. But using these batars to take out the Siege Workshop trying to and the Rams. And this stupid thing is shooting a freaking barracks instead of shooting this Teutonic Knight. What a pain in my patootie. <laughs> Uh, I didn't say it was going to be a perfect game. Let's go back home. Back home, we're just, you know, running out of wood. Happens. Villager count is 62 to 52. So despite losing so much economy, him being on, what, two TCs now, uh, and me on being on one, makes a big difference. And he's actually coming out here to get another TC up and started collecting relics. He doesn't really seem too concerned about the fact that I'm trying to just completely take out his entire base. And he's adding another TC in over here. I think 
I would have placed it over here, out of sight, out of mind. But uh, he did not. So I'm really trying to prioritize getting the siege workshop. I'm sick and tired of these rams having a short little jog straight to my castle. Trying to dodge castle fire, actually, here. <laughs> Took out that ram. <laughs> Uh, finally the siege workshop goes down. I'm trying to keep this castle up, man, with these rams. What a pain in my butt. And he's adding another uh, siege workshop back here, but at least now they have to go a much farther distance to get to me. And I'm at this point, several times actually, I've thought about, I could easily just make some light cav and just start harassing all of these open villagers, and I could do so much damage. But I really, really, really wanted to commit to just making petards as much as possible. And so, here we go. Petards. Oh my god. Garrison. Okay. Thank god. Uh, I really wanted to just make as many petards as possible. And so that's what we're doing. We're making petards. We're sticking to the plan. We're sticking to the memory. Uh, and adding in some uh, outposts as well. Because I want to see just exactly what he's doing. And uh, he didn't like that very much. Uh... Killed it, killed my poor little villager with his knight. And he's still collecting relics. Now the good thing is, I've had access to pretty much all the stone on the map non-stop. In fact, I don't think there's any stone that he has access to. Which means every time he tries to do something... Beautiful. Every time he tries to do something, um, he can't. He has to buy the stone in the... Oh, that was nice. Do it again. Uh, even better. <laughs> um, it means he has to buy all of his town centers and buy all of his uh, castles. Because he doesn't have access to any stone. And oh man, I got the castle up in time to snipe those two guys. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And that second castle is down now. And he's got these rams, but they're just kind of just wandering around. Oh man, feeling good, feeling good. So 83 villagers to 61 though. Uh, he really has a strong economy. The Teuton farm bonus is just massive. Uh, you can get so many farms for cheap. Only two for one. I did add in a second TC though. I figured that would be a good idea to try and get my villager count up a little bit. And even collecting stone over here. So collected all that stone. Collecting this stone. Collecting this stone. Collecting... I was at collecting this stone. Collected all of this stone. And uh, yeah. He bought stone for another castle. Not giving up. And deleting these outposts, I'm like, ah, I'm not going to be able to get these up. Not worried about it. So, he has four town centers now to my two. Getting up that extra castle there. And he's on his way to Imp. Almost there. And that's going to be a problem. Now, I could have gone to Imp a lot sooner. I mean, I had the resources to get to Imp a while ago. Uh, I could have just sold some stuff and got, got enough gold and went up. But uh, I've really been trying to commit to these petards. And so here we go. Oh. All three of those petards were right down the toilet. <laughs> you have to run them in mass to try and get a chance. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> oh, another castle petarded. And another Maganel down the drain. Petards aren't cheap. Petards are expensive. And so it's a huge investment, but I wonder, because he's having to buy stone, and I'm assuming, you know, sell resources to get enough, you know, unless he's just got so much gold in the bank. Let's see how much gold he has. I guess he, he has some gold, but he, he's probably having to, to really abuse the market to try and get enough stone for a castle. Actually, this is the only stone he's had access to this entire time. Uh, 60 and 75 left, so yeah, not a whole lot left. And uh, I guess he didn't like these three castles coming up over here. <laughs> it's going to range this town center over here. Still committing to petards. Actually, maybe I... Uh, these petards were probably left over queued up, is what it is. As I'm 50% up to imp now. So as uh, Teutons, you might as well get some bombard cannons out. Uh, considering he can't keep a castle up for very long. And actually fighting a knight over here with villagers because he's not paying attention. <laughs> and I don't have murder holes. I think at some point I actually do get murder holes. But uh, it's not something I remember if I did or didn't.
Oh, we had lagged there for a second. All right. Back into it. And I am in Imp. All right. So now that we're in Imperoni, uh, he's actually getting... What's that? Capped Rams, looks like? Yeah, Capped Rams and Bombard Cannons. Look at these Bombard Cannons. They, they do not like my castles being here. They're like, screw your castle drops and all your petards. Now, this might be one of the most beautiful moments in the game, honestly, as I come forward here with all these petards. <laughs> petards are not anti-military, but <laughs> when you have this many of them... <laughs> When you have this many of them, there's nothing you can do. Oh, oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, it's so satisfying. In the siege workshop, take it out too. And these are cavalier now. <laughs> it has 12 hit points left. Oh my goodness, to survive with 12 hit points. Oh. oh, you know how when a demo ship hit something or you get a really good Maganel on it or shot, whatever. That was satisfying watching all that siege go down. Just ah, so good. He's actually adding a sneaky little siege workshop over here as well. The thing is, is I can see that he has a town center over there because he didn't build it further away from his uh, walls. And he's sending in these these capped rams now, but it's like, you do realize I've been spamming petards, right? Like, we're just going to take them right out as soon as we get they get up here. And look at that. Beautiful. Boom. Done. And I'm getting Schlatta privileges. The reason why is you get 60% cheaper knights. My um, my wife's sister's boyfriend's dog is in my kitchen right now. And he's not very happy that yeah. they're not home and it's just me and him. So <laughs> he's whining in there. Poor little feller. Um, back home. Not a whole lot going on. Still creating villagers. Up to 88. Should get a few more actually. I wonder if these were a mistake. And, but look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Four castles over here. Stole some farms. Took his TC spot. So now he's down just to two TCs again. But these dang bombard cannons. Really annoying. You know, here I am trying to win a game. Fair and square with nothing but batards. And now I had to add in some dang knights. Because he wouldn't just die. That's the problem with playing institute and players, man. They're just so hard to push. But it's okay. Batards coming in here. And we're going to take out this town center. <laughs> uh, just going to keep walking him in here, see what he's got. And I can spam these these uh, knights out so cheap now. I mean, 60% cheaper gold. All I have to do is just get some more on farms, and I'll be just fine. Going to take out this siege workshop so he can't make anything back there. All these knights, all these villagers are exposed, and they're just going to go down. I mean... He had like 118 bills, and he's down to 112. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep trying to push these castles down. Well, that's a problem. Now, this might be what can some people consider a little bit of a douchey move, but I was pretty tired at this point. I think this was my last uh, game of the night, and I was like, please just die. So I said, good game? Like, hoping he'd be like... Because I have said sometimes when people are like, yeah, good game, and they call it. <laughs> but... You know, I, I definitely can see how it could be interpreted as a as a, as a rude thing to say. But, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being rude. I was tired. And now chasing down his bombards. It's like, you know what? I don't care if you get some hits on me with your Cavalier. Your Cavalier don't have a whole lot of upgrades. The main thing they have is just a lot of armor, uh, especially being Teuton. So I don't really want to fight against Teuton uh, Cavalier. I mean, as you can see, all the dead bodies are mine. Um, so we're just going to run away. We did what we needed to do, which was snipe those bomber cannons. And I'm just going to keep amassing them. And I, I, Oh, I forgot. He resigned. <laughs> I was actually getting, yeah, I think it was 99% of the way getting the Cavalier upgrade. And that's why I ran away. Uh, just so I would be a lot stronger whenever I started uh, fighting again with 140 hit points instead of 120. But, uh, yeah, so maybe he did take my hint about uh, GG. Um... So there we go. Almost completely full petards. Um, I did have to build some knights. But I tried really hard just to go full petards. I didn't build a single bombard cannon. I didn't build a single treb. It was just knights and petards. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Vlad, Poop Lord, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys aren't following Vlad, the Impaler of your mom, or Poop Lord, look them up on YouTube. Same names. 
and give them a follow. They do fun little silly strats like I do as well. And uh, we'll catch you guys later.